The technology of cement production is quite complex, as it is a step-by-step high-tech process. Moreover, the quality of the final product depends on many factors that must necessarily be considered. Due to the popularity and versatility of this building material, competition among manufacturers is great. The consumer chooses a product based not only on its cost, but also on its characteristics. Therefore, it is desirable to understand the very technology of its manufacture to select the best for yourself. And now you will learn everything in detail. Various materials are used for construction or repair works, including cement of different types and grades. It is used for the preparation of concrete, masonry, plaster, mortars, as well as for the production of reinforced concrete products. However, few people are familiar with the technology of cement production. To correct this, I will say that cement mixture is obtained by mixing several important components, clinker, gypsum, and active mineral additives. Clinker, in turn, is based on limestone and clay and is produced by firing these materials at a temperature of 1500 degrees. Under the influence of high temperatures, it melts, transforming into a granular fraction with a high silica content, and then it is fired again. Gypsum is necessary to regulate the process of hardening of cement, and in the finished composition there is no more than 5%. All other additives greatly improve the properties of the cement composition and significantly expand the scope of its application. Other additives may also be used in the manufacture of products. For example, oxides of calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, salts, but they are used in small quantities. They are added to obtain specified characteristics, heat resistance, acid resistance, etc. As for the technology of cement production itself, it definitely has its own peculiarities, depending on the method, wet, dry, or combined. Technology of cement production by dry method. I will say right away that from the perspective of economic profitability, this method is the most attractive. Apparently, that is why it is used in almost every large production facility. What are its peculiarities? Firstly, it is the dryness of components at absolutely all stages of work. The fact is that the production of dry method does not use water at all. And it looks like this. The basic materials, clay and limestone, are taken and then crushed with special equipment. Having obtained a powdery material with the help of pneumatic tools, it is sent to the kiln to undergo a delicate firing. The clinker, which is formed after this complex process, is crushed to the specified fraction, packed into prepared containers and transported to the warehouse for further storage. Of course, the production of cement by dry process allows for significant reduction in production costs. However, at the same time, it requires increased homogeneity of basic materials. This is not unimportant, by the way. In addition, it is quite hazardous from the environmental perspective. Wet Cement Production Technology What is the advantage of this method of making cement, you may ask? Firstly, it is the possibility to accurately select the required sludge composition, despite the heterogeneity of raw materials. Sludge in this method acquires a liquid consistency and it contains about 40% moisture. Before making the final product, the sludge is placed in special process basins to adjust the composition. It is here at this important stage that quality control is necessarily performed. If everything has been done well and correctly, the already obtained charge is sent to rotary kilns for firing. The process is carried out at very high temperatures of 1,000 degrees, turning it into miniature grains. Later, they are thoroughly ground to a powdery state. And that would seem to be it. Nothing. But the wet method of cement production requires quite a lot of energy. However, there is still one considerable plus. With its help, you can really get a high-quality product. Technology of Cement Production by Combined Method this technology, judging by its name alone, involves combining dry and wet cement production methods. One of them can be taken as a basis and the second one can be used as a supplement. Here, however, at different enterprises, these methods have significant differences. The fact is that everything depends on the features of the available equipment for cement production, proximity to the place of extraction of raw materials, 
as well as the different needs for the established grades of the product. If the wet method is used as a basis, the raw materials are first mixed and then dewatered in special dryers with filters until they are almost dry. And only after that, the raw materials are put into large kilns. What are the advantages of this technology? Firstly, the great thing is that heat inputs are significantly reduced, as there are practically no vapors during the firing process. As for the dry method, water is used in the process of pelletizing the finished mixture at the production facilities. However, its quantity is minimal. As a result, the moisture content of clinker that is moved into the kiln is about 10 to 18 percent. After grinding, the resulting cement mixture is sent for storage in large reinforced concrete cans, or more simply silos. They hold quite a lot, up to 10,000 tons of cement. There it cools down a little at a time, and the residues of free calcium oxide contained in it are quenched by interaction with air moisture. Thanks to this process, the technological properties of the finished material are greatly improved. Afterward, from the silos, cement is shipped to consumers in cement wagons, auto cement wagons, and covered railroad cars. White Cement Production Technology Speaking today on such a complex topic, it is impossible not to separately mention the issue of production of such a non-standard material. White cement, the production of which is moderately different from the technology of the gray product, can be produced both wet and dry. The main difference in technology is that the raw material is subjected to firing at a very high temperature of more than 1,000 degrees, and then quickly cooled with water. Clinker of this type of product is composed of mineral additives, gypsum, limestone, salt, and other components. The initial raw material is prepared from carbonate and clay rock, limestone, kaolin clay, enrichment waste, and quartz sand. Speaking about the biggest advantage and the unambiguous advantage of this type of material, it is worth mentioning its absolutely snow white color. However, if we compare it with gray cement, such production will be much more expensive. The truck mounted concrete pump from Zoom Lion is a 160 foot long truck mounted pump with high volume concrete pumping capacity. The maximum pumping capacity is 180 meters cubed per hour which means a highly efficient design that is mounted on a four-axle truck with enhanced off-road capability and maneuverability. The hydraulic system is fully automated, and high precision at the production stage guarantees stability and reliability of the overall system. And the one-sided opening of the side outriggers allows safe operation in difficult and narrow areas. Well, now you know everything important about the difficult technology of cement production. Having seen it with your own eyes, all the subtleties of the working process. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.